Alright, uh, alright, let's do something real quick for the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, uh, uh... <laughs> perfect, that's perfect. Alright, alright, alright. Right. <laughs> but let me start by saying, I'm kind of a bandwagon. <laughs> let, let's be real, how many people are actually bandwagons but won't admit it? So you guys know, this channel is mainly angels. I, I've, I'd like to say I'm a good angel fan. I don't really call myself a huge Clippers fan because I'm, I'm just not. I never really paid attention to the team until they got Kawhi. I always loved Kawhi, I'm more of a Kawhi fan. Uh, like, I'm more of a Kawhi fan than actual Clippers fan. The title's obviously gonna say otherwise, that's just because I'm trying to get views. So, as a matter of fact, I might as well take off this jersey. Well, as a good NBA bandwagon, I should actually... I wish I had, like, a Heat jersey or something. Like the bandwagon I am, I'm probably gonna be a Heat fan for the rest of the season. I got them winning. I got them winning. I want to see Jimmy Butler. He's getting older, but he's still, you know, in the prime. I want to see him win it. But we got some big news. So we're hopping onto the NBA train today. And today with a heartbreaker. Today, September 15th, will be a day in infamy for me because this was the day that pretty much the Clippers and Angels were eliminated from playoff contention. The Angels lost, the Astros won, and the Angels are out of the playoffs, pretty much. Like, 99% chance. But we're going to get straight into this video. So we're going to get... So we're going to get straight into the heart... What am I even trying to say? So we're going to get straight into the... So we're gonna get straight into what this video is about, and this is this is a, a video that's about... So the Clippers lost today. Yeah. I know, end of the world. Oh my god. They got all these players for nothing. Okay, obviously this really sucks. I always looked at their regular season chemistry problems and all this stuff, and I just put it to the side like, oh, they'll, they'll figure it out in the playoffs. It's Kawhi. Look what Kawhi did 2019. He'll, he'll figure it out. But no. This was a great series, okay? People are acting like the Clippers are insanely terrible. But I think it was way more of the Nuggets doing good. Up until the second half of Game 7, it was just hard-fought basketball. And the Nuggets, you have to keep in mind, they've been playing for years together. Their team have, has built good chemistry, and this is the first year of the Clippers. And it was just hard-fought basketball until the second half. That's what's triggering, that's what's probably stinging to most people, is it legit just fell apart. Kawhi Leonard had 14 points in the game and Paul George had 10. And Paul George was actually doing good this series. And Kawhi, Kawhi was how he usually was, but we usually see a good game seven Kawhi and this just wasn't it, something was off. I don't know what, I, I can't explain what happened second half, but anyway, the Clippers are out. Okay, so my fans, you guys are probably split half between Clippers and Lakers. Make sure you comment down below if you have any opinions you want to put out there about this post, I may do a part two or something, but this is gonna piss off some of my fans, but I don't like Laker fans that much. I feel like they're kind of the Dodgers of MLB. They're a really annoying fan base. They're just an annoying fan base, and I think most people can agree with me on that one. Always attacking the Clippers. Oh, th this is our city. This is you're invading our city. You know that kind of that kind of stuff. We run LA. To be fair, you guys can probably say that once you win the NBA Finals, but you have a lot of work to do. The Nuggets are a great team. Hey, okay, this is what I forgot to say too. You guys also can't say much as Lakers fans because what did LeBron do his first year on the team? This is Kawhi's first year on the team. I know he had Paul George too, but are we really gonna count Paul George as like a star like Anthony Davis? I don't think so. So basically, let's see what people had to say about the game. Here are the comments so disappointing the Clippers team we built for a championship that could have destroyed the Lakers, what happened? People act like this is the end of the world. It does suck and it does sting, but this was a hard year to get chemistry together because right when they're putting their chemistry together of their new team, they had to take half a year off of because it's because of Corona. Y'all us to a team that's on the McDonald's menu. <laughs> oh boy, you seven Clippers fans, all right. Good luck next year. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, the, 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 comments are, the comments are funny. Attention all Clippers fans, we are moving to the Miami Heat for the remainder of this season. Please pack your bags now. Exactly, that's what I'm doing. I got my bag ready, see? Going to Miami, let's go. Jimmy Butler, for the sake of Lakers fans not being annoying, please win. 